Welcome to Real Conversations, exploring the meaning behind the music. Hi, I'm Robert Brzezinski. And I'm Jeannie Kataoka. And together, we're having Real Conversations with your favorite New Thought artists. Join us as we take a deep dive into the inspiration and meaning behind the music of New Thought. Our guests are ready to share stories from their spiritual journey and creative process with you. Real Conversations is a chance to look behind the curtain and connect with your favorite New Thought artists. So let's dive right in. Real Conversations, exploring the meaning behind the music. And hello again, dear ones, Robert Brzezinski with you. Another episode of Real Conversations, the meaning behind the music. We've got a great program in store for you today. And I have uh, my co-host is here with us. Hello, Jeannie. Jeannie Kataoka. Hi, everybody. And today we have with us the amazing Karen Drucker. Karen is a person who truly feels that everything happens for a purpose. She grew up in Hollywood, Laurel Canyon to be exact, and she says it feels like it was divine destiny that Carol King, yeah, that Carol King, would move a few doors down and Karen would become the babysitter for her two small children. She was 15, a self-proclaimed nerd with braces, acne, and forever straightening her curly hair. She said one day she came home from school in Carol's piano was in her bedroom because Carol was remodeling her house and, hey, needed a place to store it for a few months. And she said that was her opening, that was Karen's opening to pursue her dream of being a singer-songwriter just like Carol. She taught herself how to play the piano, wrote cheesy teenage angst songs, and fell in love with music. She went to Hollywood High and discovered acting, comedy, and the joy of being on stage. She idolized Carol Burnett, who also happened to be a Hollywood High grad, and dreamed of being a musical comedy actress. After high school, she Karen moved to San Francisco to go to school, but also to develop her act in comedy clubs. She played piano, sang, comedy Anywhere she could, bars, nightclubs, comedy clubs, hot dog stand openings. She says, you name it, and she'd be there. She started playing private parties and leading bands, singing Evergreen and New York, New York. Not her idea of fame, but hey, she says, it paid the rent. One day, a friend asked her to sub for her at a new thought church. Karen had no idea what this was about. It was a job on a Sunday morning. Her friend said, ah, just sing, sing a few happy songs and you'll be fine. Singing at that church was a huge turning point for Karen. Who knew that singing at that church would lead her to the life she leads today of speaking and singing her original songs at New Thought churches around the country, facilitating women's retreats, being a keynote speaker at mind-body health conferences, and producing 20 CDs of her own inspirational songs. Her music is used for people going through cancer treatments, by workshop leaders and authors, and people who tell her that her music inspires and comforts them. She points out that, yeah, she does feel that everything happens for a purpose, and she's certainly glad that she has found hers. So I am so excited to get to talk the legendary Karen Drucker. And I'm wondering, Karen, what is your favorite song on Chants and Sing Alongs? Well, first of all, thank you both for having me on your show. This is great. What, what an introduction, Jeannie. And legendary. I didn't know I was legendary. That's, I feel like I'm legendary. I'm legendary in my own mind, but that's great. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. It's a nice little boost to my day. Um, so Chance and Singalongs actually is an album that I made a, a little ways down the line of, of all of my albums. I made that for churches um, because what, what happened is my beginning chant CDs, uh, Songs of Spirit 1, 2, 3, 4, I had songs that um, became pretty popular with churches, but the recording of them were uh, like when I go in to record, I'm recording for the purpose of repeated listening. 
But when I realized that a lot of these songs, like Thank You for This Day, for example, was a song that a lot of churches wanted to, to play, the recording of it is really kind of mellow. It's like, thank you for this day, spirit, thank you for this. It's just sort of this mellow with this drum thing. And when I would perform it live, I would do it. Thank you for this day, spirit. Thank you for this day. You know, really up tempo. So Chance and Singalongs was really the, the title of that album actually is Chance and Singalongs for all kinds of gatherings. And so I took my most popular uh, songs and redid a lot of them in more of a, a way that churches could use them as congregational songs. And then I also added a bunch of little little songs that were kind of my pet peeve when I would go to a church and they would say, let's, let's welcome, you know, let's welcome newcomers or let's honor, you know, our practitioner who's been here for a million years. And that person would walk from the back of the room and it would take five minutes for them to get there. And so I would write these little chants to be like, uh, you know, we honor you, we see your grace, you know, and little, little things as people were walking up to the podium. So Chance and Singalongs is really, it's really a, an album for, for churches to use. But to get to your real question, you know, what's my favorite song is truly like asking who's your favorite child. And, um, but I would have to say, I would have to say that the song that hits me the deepest is probably You Are the Face of God, because I've, I've sung that song in so many different places. I've heard people singing that, that they will sing it when someone's passing over. And I've sung it in, in groups where people don't know each other that well, but they walk around and they start singing it. And all of a sudden everyone's crying because they're seeing, they're seeing each other's hearts. You know, they're seeing that we are the face of God. We are, we are these beings of love reflected. And that song is just an opportunity for people to, you know, really, really just connect with, with their hearts and, and souls. And I would say that that's probably one of my, one of my favorite babies. <laughs> <laughs> so let's give that a listen. Here's The Face of God by Karen Drucker. You are the face of God you in my heart You are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face of God I hold you in my heart You are a part of me you are the face of God You are the face of God Tu es l'image de Dieu I hold you in my heart Tu es l'image de l'amour You are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face of God To say I hold you in my heart To say il volto dell'amore You are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face You are the face of love I hold you in my heart Face 
face of God. I, I love that song, Karen. Thank you so much for bringing that one into the world. And uh, and thank you for being here as well. Uh, we're, I, I, I find myself in that same place Jeannie was talking about. There's so many songs that you've done that you've brought into the world that are just iconic. Uh, yes, in New Thought Churches, but more importantly, in my per, in my spiritual practice. That oh, just, that's great. Thank you. Um, you know, they show up again and again and again. And uh, we want to we want to continue to kind of highlight. And because part of what I love is you really did. You created albums in from my perspective, the way many artists do. And then you also started to recompile and create the compilations and the with a few new tracks here and, and bringing collections together that in many ways are the precursor to today's uh, playlists, right? Well, and I'll tell you why I did that, Robert, is because people would come up to me, um, you know, whenever I would go do a gig or I'd do a concert, they'd come to my table, they'd look at this whole big selection of CDs and go, well, which one's the most mellow? You know, <laughs> or, or what's, you know, I need something really up-tempo. What, which one of these is all up-tempo? And I realized that, you know, I, I really structured every CD like a show. Meaning, you know, when you do a show, you think, okay, I have, you know, you start off with your up-tempo ones and then you're gonna, um, you know, bring it down and more quiet. And then you're gonna bring it back up for the ending of the show. Well, so that's how I structured all my albums. And when I realized that people kept asking me these, I mean, it's literally, I, I feel like this is how spirit works in my life is that people will say stuff like that. And I would have never had this idea of doing this until I had like five people within a course of a week say the exact same question of like, you know, which one is the best for yoga or meditation? Yeah. And I got this idea of like, well, why don't I just put something together of all my most mellow songs, you know, my, my songs that you could use for meditation. And, you know, and it's the same thing when I wrote my book, I had no idea that I had that I was going to write a book. And I had more people coming up and going, oh, well, Karen, where's your book? Did, did you sell out? Is it on? Can I get this on Amazon? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't have a book. Where did you get this from? And I just heard it same thing, like five times in a week. And it was like, all right, spirit, I'm getting the idea. I'm supposed to write a book. But but that's what these compilations, I, I put together a four pack a compilation of stillness, all my most, I mean, now I've got more songs to put in this category, but that was my first thing of it, of doing, you know, 10 or I think 12 songs each of stillness. And then, then I was getting so many people saying, well, what about abundance and prosperity? I'm going through these money issues. So I happen to have, you know, my money is like a bunny. It goes forth and multiplies. I had songs like that. So I, <laughs> I you know, I put a, a, so that's called prosperity. And then I did one for love and acceptance. And then I did another one called power up, which is like, if you need rah, rah, you can do it songs. That's on that CD. So, you know, it's interesting because now that I'm not making CDs necessarily anymore, it really allows me to, whether it's on Spotify or whether it's on my website, put together these compilations, like, you know, with songs for children, songs for, um, and that's what the heart of healing is all about is songs for going through cancer or healing. And, 
so, you know, it's, it's an interesting world now that I could just, you know, put together any kind of compilation. And, and I think it really works because that's what people want. They're looking at a specific thing they want, you know, yeah. to, to affirm. So I'm hoping to, to do more of those. Exactly. Good. And you know, that is exactly what uh, I was hoping to talk about today is some of these compilations. And the first one on my list was Stillness. And i have it's always been one of those albums for me. Uh, again, we're, we're kind of turning the tables. No, normally, we just say we want to know about this song, but we want to know of all the songs on Stillness, which is the one that is the most impactful for you, the most meaningful for you? Well, um, I'm so good that I have all my CDs right next to me. <laughs> I didn't yeah. even realize you were going to ask this. Yeah. I would say, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. I would say um, probably the one that is the most impactful for me is uh, in the stillness of this moment. I would, I would say, not impactful, I wouldn't use that word. I would say the one that I think brings me to stillness the most is that song because it's saying in the stillness of this moment, there is peace and I rest and trust and know that in the stillness of this moment, there is peace. And I'm, I'm singing that a lot to myself these days. You, you do need to know that all of my songs are basically for me. If, if any of anybody likes anything, that's great, but these are all my own affirmations. So it's a completely selfish thing that I'm doing here by writing these songs because it's what I need to affirm for myself. So, right. but yeah, in the stillness of this moment probably brings me to peace is the, the fastest. Yeah. We find uh, most of the new thought, all of the new thought artists that have come on this show have spoken to writing songs for what's real for them in the moment, what they're moving through in the moment and using that as a piece that, that'll allow others to, to reflect and move through those experiences as well. So great, wonderful. How about, let's give that a listen, folks. This is Karen Drucker from the compilation Stillness. This is In the Stillness. Enjoy. stillness of this moment there is peace there is peace in the stillness of this moment there is peace there is peace and I rest and trust and breathe Oh, 
strange times right now and they're challenging for everybody how, how has the shutdown and uh challenged your prosperity oh you mean with losing all my jobs for the rest of this year i have no problem Jeannie. i'm just i'm just going with the flow here and knowing god is my source and all is well uh yeah i to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I mean, I definitely have been having my issues of, of freaking out of, about, you know, some of, some of this stuff, but, you know, one of the things that I think is so great about our philosophy is that we can feel all that stuff. You know, we can feel panic and scared and lack of abundance and all that kind of stuff. But the difference is, I believe that we don't build a condo and ask people to come over for cocktails and, you know, revel in this place. You know, we, we were able to acknowledge it and get out of it, feel the feelings of it, but allow ourselves to just move through things faster. So I would say that, yes, I, you know, I've been having my issues around all of this and, you know, I'm, I'm working on that concept that really God is my source and that, that I'm going to be fine. And that, you know, my songs like all is well, and, I will surrender to my greatest, highest good. I have to just keep knowing and affirming that all is going to be fine and, and know that. And, you know, and when I'm in that place, I have no fear, no fear. I'm just like, I know I'll be provided for 
somehow it will all work out. And if I go to the other place, I can go into all the, the, the fear. But again, that's why with my prosperity CD, I, I just put all those songs. Actually, let me even look at what's on there. Yeah, one of my favorites is My Money is Like a Bunny. It goes forth and multiplies. That's a fun one. The prosperity CD, let me just see. Yeah, I have Money is Coming to Me Easily and Effortlessly. This or something better. I'm worthy. I'm grateful. But I love, you know, the receiving chant is, uh, is, is one of my favorites too, because the receiving chant says, I do believe I will receive. I just, I, mean, I do believe I will receive. I just have to know and then declare it to be so with an open mind and just a little bit of time. If it serves my highest good, then it is mine. And so that, you know, if I affirm that, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. The receiving chant. Okay. So let's give a listen to Karen Drucker's receiving chant. Drucker. 
If you've just tuned in, uh, I'm Jeannie Kataoka, and this is Real Conversations, and we're talking with Karen Drucker. So, Karen, another great compilation album that you have is The Power of Women. What would be your favorite on that album? Yes, another, you're really talking about all my compilations. This is great. Same thing, you know, I, I, one of my biggest thrills in my life has really been the, the direction that my, uh, my path took, which, which I did not have on my radar at all, which was leading women's retreats. And it's really become um, the main way I make my living, for one thing, but it's also my main fulfillment is um, speaking and singing and, and uh, facilitating women's retreats. And I started off uh, co-presenting with Joan Borisenko and, um, you know, different Mary Man and Morrissey, people like that. And I gradually... And, and different churches would would hire me, um, but then I just I got into facilitating my own, you know, producing my own, and going to a Silomar and these different places that I would, you know, I would try and get the women to to just come on my own to do that, and and I realized that I had all these same thing as the other uh, CDs that we're talking about. I had so many women's songs, and I thought, well, why don't I put them all in one and let that also be available to other uh, facilitators, you know, to have, to, to, to get that CD out to other facilitators so that they could use my music in their women's retreats. Um, and I love it. I mean, I, I love doing these women's retreats. There's, there's something about the power of women getting together that miracles happen and transformation happens. So, you know, you know, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just looking at this right now. Cause I, you know, I, it's so funny, Jeannie, you know, talking about this, when you say a favorite song, I literally forget about what I've written. I mean, I look, I'm, I just, I happen, I mean, I'm glad I have these all right with me. I'm looking at this going, wow, I didn't know that that's on this album. I mean, it's great. Um, I would say probably for this album, well, there's just a few of my favorites, but you know, I would say since we're talking about the power of women it, it is really that the first song on that album is called The Power of Women because it's talking about, you know, it's, uh, it's the power of women united we stand. We're making a difference when we join hands. It's the power of women who will heal this world. The power of women. It's the power of women. So I, I and I believe that. I believe that women are healing this world. And um, yeah, I'd go for that song. <laughs> Power of women, yeah, power of women. 
Power of Women by Karen Drucker. And folks, if you're just tuning in, this is Real Conversations, the meaning behind the music. I'm Robert Brzezinski. My co-host is with us today, Jeannie Katioka. And we've been having a wonderful conversation, getting to know uh, Karen a little bit more and more about her music. And one thing, we've been talking today, Karen, about many of your compilation albums. And you do put out albums that have uh, that have selections of songs that don't feel, you know, uh, and I'm thinking of The Call. Uh, there's a theme there, it seems to me, more like a traditional album would have a theme and, and a through line, if you will. But I'd love to hear a little bit more of how The Call came around, came to be. What was the process? What was your creative process like? Uh, 14 songs, uh, they're all, in my opinion, just like great tunes. Oh, thank you very um, much. And that this is one of those albums in my collection that for from your body of work, this is one of the ones I almost always pick off the shelf first. So Wow, thank um, you. Can you tell us a little bit more about the call? Yeah, um, you know what I, I you know, I don't really have this real process around a sp- specific album in 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 I mean what I do, what I tend to do is I would usually do like a chanting CD and then I would do a, a song CD. And then the next one would be a chanting CD. And then the next one would be a song CD. So what would happen is as I'm writing throughout the year, if it was a chant, I would stick it in that notebook and say, okay, when I go to record, I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to put it there. And when it's a song and you never know how songs are going to come out. I mean, one of the, one of the techniques that I use for uh, my writing is I'll come up with some idea of a song, um, of a, of a chorus And I literally ask the song, I say, are you a chant or are you a full song? Mm. And I, and I, and I listen because sometimes the song just says, you're, you know, you're, the chant will say, no, that's it. You're done. I mean, actually, I mean, not to skip albums here, but like on my last CD, um, I had a song called let it go. And, and it was a chant, let it go, let it go. It was just this, let it go. And so I started to write, write it as a song. And I'm writing pages and pages of why I should let it go. How should you let it go? What is the reason why you should let it go? And finally, I heard this voice say, Drucker, just let it go. The song is just about letting it go. And, and I wound up recording, you know, a five minute song of just going, let it go, let it go, let it go. But we can talk about that one later. But as far as your, your question, this was like basically, um, just songs that I had been writing that it was like it needed, it finally was like a ready to do a song album. And I just, and it's 14 songs is actually kind of a lot, but some of these things were like, no, this needs to be on here. I, you know, I just, once I'm in the recording mode, I get uber creative and I keep writing. And, you know, the, the main thing of this, this song, this album was just, you know, trying to have it be that there's just, uh, that there are a, a, lifting songs they're inspirational songs but the call of something more i would say is one of my i would say deeper songs um in that it's really asking um what am i here for you know what what is the reason for i mean because the chorus of that says i feel the call of something more i feel the call to be someone i've never been before i feel the call of something more and it's asking me what am i here for what am i here for and You know, but what's interesting is when you when you ask me a question like that, it makes me look at these titles and realize that you're right. These songs actually do have kind of a through line in that if if it's what am I here for? Here's a song. I am a gift saying, you know, I'm I'm here to be a gift to the world and just show up as a song saying, you know, just just keep showing up in the world. So I think everything was really based on that first song, The Call of Something More and all these other songs really support that theme of, of going for it. And, and I know is about trusting your intuition. I mean, I think it all really is based on, on that theme of, um, you know, knowing what it is you're here for. Mm, Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. I I love uh, getting getting the the peek behind the curtain there, folks, of how it all comes together. So let's give that a listen. The call of something more from Karen Drucker's album, The Call. Please kick back, relax, enjoy. Here it is. The 
yes, 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 yes. One of my favorites. And I, I would, we could sit here for the next hour and just talk about this album because there's so much here. Uh, cry if you want to, just stop it. I don't have to be perfect. I can do it. Uh, See, uh, I don't have to be perfect is one of my theme songs, you know, especially right now because I just think, I mean, I mean, even even the way it was for all of us at the beginning of this, trying to get all the technology together. It's so important right now that we all can have that lightening up of this, just going, I don't have to be perfect. I don't know, you know, like I did a concert the other night, the sound was dropping out, all this stuff. And I started my show with, I don't have to be perfect, just to give myself that buffer of like, okay, folks, (laughs) I don't know what I'm doing, (laughs) but let's just, you know, and I think that that's, that is, and I, and what's really great for me is when I have parents write me and say, my child is singing this song all the time. Because I think if I, if I got that message when I was a teenager, if I don't have to be perfect, it would have saved me years of therapy. Let me put it that way. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think it's one of the things we just all have to just lighten up about is just, you know, you don't have to be perfect. We're doing the best we can. So yeah. anyway, yeah. but thank you. I, that, that album is, yeah, I do realize that there's a lot of songs I still sing from that album. So thank you. I had so many people though tell me that they hated the cover. <laughs> Not funny. I was gonna redo. I was gonna redo the cover because they said you look so somber. You know, we're used to you smiling so much, and so I went. Well, I don't have to be perfect. I learned my lesson. I'll always, <laughs> I'll always have smiley covers after this. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I always, I always like the fact. Uh, the, songs of the the songs of the spirit covers they're not exactly super happy they're they're also a little more somber i i've actually always liked that about you that well you know everyone you know the thing is when you do anything creative you just have to really just i think it's really important to trust your own heart first and say what is it that i want to do and then because everyone's going to have opinions you know they're all going to say you should do this you should do that and you just have to know what you want to do. And, and anyway, but you know, all, all my covers are always this, this, this issue of how to, how, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you and say the one thing that's kind of nice about the fact that I'm not necessarily doing CDs anymore <laughs> is dealing with the covers. You know, it's always so traumatic of like how to do it. And that's always like the hardest part of the whole process for me is the gosh darn cover. Right. Well, Karen, um, we've got a little bit of time here today, and I, we do want to make sure that uh, we try to keep these to just about an hour or so. And uh, we'd love to hear a little bit more. What's on the horizon? What's coming up next? What's new? Um, it, you know, are, have you got singles coming out? What yeah. Can we, what can we you look know, forward to? Well, thanks for asking, Robert, because it's just it's really an interesting time. I got to say, I am completely reinventing myself. You know, I, I love what I do. I loved all that I was doing before of traveling around the country and speaking and singing and doing that. But I was, to be really honest, getting really burnt out on the travel. And I just really felt like I wanted to have a little bit, bit of a break. Little did I know that I would be, you know, God was hearing me and I have this huge break. But what, what is happening is I'm reinventing myself and I don't know what it looks like. I'm letting myself stumble around and trust my heart and see what feels good. But um, I have ventured into the world of making singles and I actually have a brand new single out that um, uh, was based on the Course in Miracles song, uh, of, of Course in Miracles uh, statement saying, I could see peace instead of this. And I wrote a song around that, recorded it, and it's on my website now as my very first single. So that's exciting. And I'm, and I'm now I'm doing every Sunday, I'm doing different churches. I'm having videos that are going out to different churches of my single songs and they're plopping me within their service. But then I'm doing a live church every Sunday. And now all these churches are calling me and wanting me to do the talk and, you know, do the message and the music like I was doing, you know, on the road. But now I'm doing that online and I'm doing a woman's retreat. I was uh, one of my big disappointments was I had a, a, a woman's retreat in England and with this wonderful English uh, woman's retreat leader. And we were so excited about doing this. And of course, that got canceled. It was in June. And so we're doing it online, which I've never done a woman's retreat online. So I'm going to learn how to do it. And that's starting at the end of June. And uh, people can get that information on my website, but it's going to be a neat combination of English women and American women. And 
who knows women from all around the world that's the that's the new reality is that i'm not limited to who can fly or where i can fly it's like hey you want to join us every wednesday in june you know so it's it's brand new and exciting yeah it's very exciting and and, and to be honest a little scary cuz i just have never it's, you know i've done i've done my women's retreats for 10 years how do you now adapt that into a you know webinar kind of thing or you know a, a, a so we'll see we'll see I'm yeah. open to change and open to open to seeing what is next. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, someone shared with me recently, right, all of us, all the various forms of ministry and connection and service, we've all gone global. Yeah, it's true. I mean, that is the one thing that's fabulous about this. So yeah, um, I mean, I've had women say for me to me for years, oh, I wish I could come, but I just I've got two kids. I can't fly. Well, now they can. They can be in their jammies, you know, watching me and participating. And I'm doing sing alongs with people. And I just say, everybody mute and all. You know, let's all sing. But mute your. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's it's really it's it's very exciting. It's very exciting what's happening. Good. Well, Karen, we've got I've got a couple one one or two well one more major question, um, and then I think what we'll do is we'll kind of we'll play the new single I can see the piece on the way out after uh, we say our goodbyes we'll p play that on the way out so people get a chance to hear that as well, uh, but uh, but. I do want everybody to know there will be links in the show notes to get to all of Karen's websites, her web presences, pick up that new single. We'll make sure you know how to do that uh, and get a chance to hear new Karen Drucker music and stay in touch in the future. This is an artist that's been here, has been inspiring and a, a huge part of New Thought for quite a long time. And I know she's going to be here for quite a long time to continue as well. So um, so we're going to do a little switcheroo on our traditional surprise question. Now, this is Spirit's download while we've been talking, because normally at the end of the episode, we ask the artist, our guest, what's their favorite song, right? And we've been doing that all the way along on, on a number of your albums here. Uh, so I want to switch it around just a little bit, and I want to ask, what's your favorite Karen Drucker CD? Mm. Out of all, all the compilations, all the songs, and the ch what's the what's the one that you would pull off first? I would say, you know, I would say probably Songs of the Spirit too. Um, that was that was my, I would say that's sort of my breakout album because I, I had just, you know, I had, I hadn't been doing that much before that. And that, that album was really the one, it's still my best seller. And that one has, if I was going to say I have hits, <laughs> Karen Drucker <laughs> hits, you know, that one has the face of God and, and there is only love. And I am so blessed. We are all angels blessing to the world. I mean, it has, it has kind of the main ones that, that a lot of churches uh, have, have, have taken and, you know, they're using themselves. And, you know, I just feel like it was, it was spirits download because I truly, this was never on my radar to be making these CDs and doing this kind of music. I mean, I was a blues singer, you know, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what happened? What happened along the way? But that album really was, it just, it feel it felt like it was a spirit download that whole album and so i would i'd go for songs of spirit too and probably you know i am so blessed i mean that's just me playing piano you know with some of my my friends singing backups and uh you know that's probably it songs of spirit too all right well let's give that a listen folks from songs of the spirit too by karen drucker i am so blessed <laughs> I am 
so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful for all that I have. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful for all that I have. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful for all that I have. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. makes me feel blessed and it always makes me a little verklempt whenever I hear that. So we're about out of time, Karen. I just have to say thank you. This has been such a blessing. We've been so blessed with with your presence this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. It's really lovely to be with both of you. I really appreciate your your kind words and and helping me, you know, get my music out there. It's really wonderful. Thank you. All right. Well, folks, that's about the time we have for today. Uh, I want to thank again, Rep- I, I said it there, I said it, Reverend Karen Drucker. Everybody uh, does. It's okay. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, that is definitely a title I believe you deserve, at least in my heart. So thank you. Uh, uh, so, thank you for being with us. Uh, folks, we're going to play out that we're going to play out the new song. Uh, I can see the piece and make sure you pick up a copy of that over on Karen's website. We'll be back again with more real conversations in the future. Until then, peace and blessings. Instead of
instead of this When I feel lost and I don't know where to go It's always up to me what I focus on will grow And I could choose love or I could choose fear But if I want The answer's so clear there I could see peace instead of this 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 When I'm troubled I'm feeling so alone Love is always with me And grace will bring me home Love is the healer Love is all I see Each and every day For listening to Real Conversations, exploring the meaning behind the music. Real Conversations is produced by the New Thought Radio Network, sharing a vibration of love, positivity, and empowerment through a variety of media streams. Learn more on the web at newthoughtmedianetwork.org. Listen to past episodes of Real Conversations on the podcast page at newthoughtradio.net. Until next time, peace and blessings. Go forth and prosper.